You want to start preaching, but you don't really know where to start. Or maybe you preach or have preached in the past, but you want to get better. Today, we want to give you a few book recommendations for you to dive into so you can become a better communicator and a better preacher of the Word of God. Let's get it. What's up everyone, I'm Ronaldo Ramos with Vine Media and our desire is to help people grow in their relationship with Christ and mature in biblical studies and a lot of different areas. Today we want to look at preaching and this is a topic that's really, really close to my heart. I've been preaching for about 15 years now. Um, I'm also currently right now in my doctoral program, getting a doctorate in preaching and leading. And so a lot of these recommendations are books that I've read or have had to read in my program. And I really believe that these can be impactful and helpful to you in becoming a better Bible preacher, Bible teacher. And so let's jump in. Preaching is something that you should feel a call from God, from the spirit to want to go do. It's not something um, that should be entered into lightly. It's not something that should be taken um, irreverently. You should be approaching any sort of preaching or teaching of God's word with so much reverence and respect. And so if you want to get better um, with anything, even if it is a calling or a spiritual gift, um, you get better by putting work into it, by practicing it. The first book I want to recommend is called The Witness of Preaching by Thomas Long. This book has become a go-to in a lot of preaching classes and homiletics classes. And the reason is, is that this is so, so good and so rich with so many different things. It covers so many different topics, like what does it mean to preach? It talks about the importance of biblical exegesis. It goes through some different um, structures and modes that you can use in your preaching. Um, it touches base on um, how to go from desk to pulpit. So you can write a good sermon or have good thoughts, but how do you translate that into communicating? The witness of preaching takes all of that into account. It's a little bit on the bigger side compared to some of the other books that we'll be recommending, but this is one that I actually would start with because it covers such uh, a wide array of, of areas and, and a wide array of topics when it comes to preaching. This is definitely a book I would start with. The next book I want to recommend, I actually don't have with me physically, um, but you can find it on Amazon and all the books that we're suggesting is um, found in our description below and you can check it out. And it's titled simply Preaching uh, by Tim Keller. The uh, subtitle is Communicating Faith in an Age of Skepticism. And Tim Keller is a great pastor and preacher and author and apologist um, and he just has a really great and unique way in communicating gospel truths and so he has this um, memoir this book um, where he um, expresses a lot of those thoughts in communicating and and this is such a great and important book it talks about Christ being uh, preached in every message it talks about um, the power of the spirit in preaching this is such a great and practical book and so i highly recommend tim keller's preaching book you should definitely check it out the next book i want to recommend is the homiletical plot by eugene lowry this book is awesome this is a little bit older so when you go to look for it on Amazon or other websites. There's a, uh, a newer version available, um, but I have an older version. Um, and this book is so cool because it looks at the sermon as a narrative. Um, and it really hones in on the importance of narrative and us approaching preaching or communicating the Bible um, in narrative form. Narrative is so crucial to us. We we all 
love narrative or love a good narrative. That's why kids like to have a bedtime story before they go to bed or why we watch movies or go to plays or watch TV. It's because of the narrative plot. There's, um, there are people, um, there's events, there's tension in every um, one of those narratives. And then there's uh, a solution, a resolution. And so uh, Eugene Lowry talks about that and so this book is uh, split up into a few sections. The first section is where he just describes narrative preaching and then he introduces um, a five-step sermon structure that can help you uh, communicate um, through preaching narratively um, and it's known as the Lowry loop because the author Eugene Lowry and it's these five steps that go through so you can think about as you're preparing a message to really engage um, your listener so they can experience the gospel and the fullness of Christ the homiletical plot definitely a great book it is short and it's an easy read I recommend this for your preaching the last book I want to recommend is called Delivering the Sermon by Teresa Fry Brown. Teresa Fry Brown is a homiletician. She teaches homiletics, she teaches uh, preaching, but she's also a certified pathologist. This book is unlike the others because it doesn't go into biblical exegesis and it doesn't go into um, structure and form of preaching. This really talks about the communication side of preaching. Communication, the communication side of preaching is really, really important because if you're a preacher or if you're a Bible teacher or if you're a small group leader, then what we have in teaching the Bible is and should be the most important message that anyone can communicate. And so we have the message now how we deliver the message is important so um and again this is a really short book um really great great book for um preachers experienced preachers beginner preachers and she really touches things um such as cross-cultural preaching how to speak cross-culturally she speaks on voicing the word how to enunciate words how to um think about the words that you're picking. Um, she speaks about dialects. She speaks about the rate in which you speak and the rhythm on which you use your word. She speaks about embodying the word. So what you're saying um, is matched by your body and, and your outward expressions. This is a great, great book, a great, great resource that she goes through the communication side and so if you're a bible teacher a bible preacher small group leader this is something that i highly recommend to take your preaching or teaching to the next level i want to lay before you obviously the biggest thing for a preacher is the bible Preaching the Bible, preaching the text, not an idea, not a thought, not a topic that you thought of. Preaching the Bible and sticking to the word of God. That is of, is of extreme importance. The other thing is the person of the preacher. So if you're preaching, if you're teaching, if you're leading a small group, then we need to make sure that our preachers and teachers are living the life um, that is pursuing Jesus as much as we can. Well, there you have it four great preaching resources that I think will help you take your preaching or teaching of the Bible to the next level. I hope you have found value in this content. If you do, we'd love for you to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And as always, stay connected to the vine. We will see you next time.